Hey guys, Hatchfish here, and welcome to something a little bit different. This is going to be uh, a series, can't really call it a let's play, can't really call it a walkthrough, but I guess it's going to be more of a let's play, uh, if you can read. You can see it's Dawn of War Dark Crusade. Um, this is one of the first RTS games I ever played back in like 07, 08. Um, I used to be quite good at it. Um, now we're about to find out. I'm going to start a new campaign. And I'll let you watch this video the real quick. Planet Cronus, beset on all sides by the tides of war, this once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus' central desert came the Necrons. Ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the warp, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man, came the Imperial Guard, there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar, ancient enemies of the Necrons, emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium soldiers. Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions and the total defeat of all others. One quick thing I want to get on the table here before I play is I had to lower the settings on this a lot because Fraps destroys my laptop. So, uh, apologies on that. But it, you know, it doesn't normally look that bad. But on YouTube, I mean, the big difference isn't really there. Um, so, this is Warhammer 40k, a uh, real time strategy game. Uh, it's based off the tabletop game, which is quite old now. Um, I did actually play that. I played this before the tabletop game. I used to play the tabletop. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I played a couple armies though. If you know what it is, I'll just tell you. I played Imperial Guard, Space Marines, and Orcs. There are more races in this than the tabletop, but you know, a game's a game. You gotta have limits. So, um, I'll basically give you a quick run through the races, not too in depth, just so people who have no idea what's going on get a basic bit. You can read that part on the side. Um, I guess we'll start with the basics, actually, I won't do that in that order. Um, the Imperial Guard are essentially the humans, um, uh, the Imperium is just a man, uh, well, the men of Earth who spread it across the stars a long time ago, um, they got all this tech and shit, and basically they're just trying to defend what they got. Um, Space Marines are the superhumans, uh, I'm not gonna get into the real fluff, so if you know this and get offended, don't. Um, they're essentially just superhumans in really powerful armor, they got a lot of stuff, they're much better than the normal humans, but the normal humans, there are a lot more of them. Um, and they're basically held up as gods. These are corrupted versions of the Space Marines. Um, they're evil, they have demons on their side, they're all corrupted and shit, and they're gross as fuck. Um, Eldar are kind of like elves, I guess. They're a mysterious psychic race that live off in the distance on spaceships because their home worlds were all destroyed. Um, they're very powerful psychic people. And they're here to stop the ancient evil, which is essentially like if you've ever seen The Mummy, <laughs> is the best way to explain it. Uh, these guys, Necrons, live under the ground, or, well, yeah, they live underground in most places. And no one knows where they are, but when they rise up, their only goal is to kill all living things. And they nearly succeeded a long time ago. There's something about the Eldar stopping them barely, and it's all very fucked up. Orcs just want to kill shit. That's all they're here to do. They're here to fuck shit up. And Tower, the like the newest race, uh, like literally like just young in terms of the universe. Uh, they're very high tech, however, they're ambitious and they fight for the greater good, which basically like join them or die. 
but they pretend to be much better than that. I played them online w way back when, but I find them quite boring. I don't know, I didn't play these guys much, I didn't play the Tau, so we're gonna go with that. The rise of the Necrons and the arrival of other powers on Cronus was a threat the Tau Empire could not ignore. With their doctrine built firmly around the so-called greater good, the Tau could not tolerate seeing a thriving colony taken away from them. The Ethereals, leaders of the Empire, responded to the distress signals from Cronus by sending some of their best and brightest to retake the world. Aunel Shores was among the most lauded of a new generation of the Ethereal cast. He would be responsible for restoring proper order to this wayward world. With him came the military leader, Shas Okais, a student of the teachings of Commander Pure Tide. Okais brought a massive force of firecast warriors, as well as auxiliaries from the Tau's allied races, the Krut and the Vespid. Tau ground forces landed in the city of Tashin, or Ashadis, to use its true Imperial name. And from there began the crusade to retake the planet as a whole. One thing I need to preface this with is I'm not a great RTS player. <laughs> okay, so this is the basic menu of the campaign. It's very risk-like. This is the first game of the Dawn of War series that I know of to do this. Um, you eliminate a race by taking out their home base. If their commander's there, they very obviously get a boost. Um, so each race already starts out. You don't, because you're the player, obviously, so you get shafted a bit. Um, each Welcome province, shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Shut the fuck up. Okay. These arrows <sighs> show you where Dismiss. I remember this. Uh, each province gives you different things. Like when you win, you get that much requisition, which is your spending money. Uh, you get that fire armor, warrior, bonus guard, bodyguard. Fucking hell. Uh, which basically, every time you get one of those, they start the game with them now, so you get that. Uh,. So you see each thing has their own little thing. He's got his own honor guard going on. He doesn't. He's already got a basic level. He's clear. He's got guard. Um, but basically, and then this is the defensive strength of each of the provinces. If I go here, where can he go? He's going to have to move here. So I guess I might as well ride out to meet him. I think he has to go there. I'm not sure how the walls work. But we'll attack. Uh, the stronghold battles are very long battles, so if I do one of those, they'll be very, I don't know, long. I don't know, they'll be their own episodes completely. I'm not even sure how I'm going to do this. Uh, I think, though, uh, I'm just going to have some fun with it. Uh, do it at my own pace, and all that good stuff. So this game, there's not much you can do with your WASD keys or your keyboard keys, as far as I know. So, uh, basically all I'm doing is using my mouse right now. On normal, that should be all I need to do. I used to be quite good, so I'm holding... I feel like I keep saying that, but I'm hoping I can keep my shit together. Um, where is my shit? There it is. Go get that. There are going to be points of this where it slows down just because I want to tech up some stuff. So don't get all bitchy about that yet. Oh wait, my leader's here. Fuck. Uh, set the rally point. Wait, stop moving. On you. Okay, cool. So now the units will automatically go to him, get a basic warrior squad going. Which one's gonna finish first? You are. Do I have enough for this yet? No. Oh wait, they captured it? Which one captured? Fuck. So I'm really weak in combat. This is one of the military things. Um, military things. The differences. Fuck. 
Okay, so we can get away from him real quick. You gotta get the fuck out. Oh my god, what is this shit? Go fight, go fight, go fight. How much is a thing? I'm not gonna get that. What the literal fuck? Hold on. This shit's wrong. Okay, I might be able to scavenge this out. Scavenge this out. Okay. All military units. Kill this bitch. Pursue him down! That's the enemy's main leader. He's very strong off the start. I'm gonna I see what your plan is. Hold there. Oh, wait, where are my crew? There they are. These are the close combat kind of deals. Delios. Oh my fuck. That was painful. Go build that shit. Um, when you capture a point. Oh my god, I'm getting the f shit kicked out. Where's my other one? I lost a whole unit. Not enough rec... Oh, for f fuck's sake. Oh yeah, I ran him away. Right on. Oh yeah, he's this... this fucking shit, man. I done goofed. Over here. Where's the other point? There it is. Uh, give me a unit. Capture that. <sighs> yeah, I need to build this so I can do my tech tree. I was not expecting that early in a push from an orc army. Um... I mean, they get units quickly, but holy shit! Come on, there you go. This isn't my normal army. I will say that, but that's still that was embarrassing. Where is he? Anyways, building these listening posts uh, allow you to keep these things longer if an enemy comes over. Uh, you can put guns in them and stuff, and when you upgrade them, it gives you more requisition, so more money. Which is quite important. Actually, no, go capture this. Uh, relics are like super strategic points. I don't know. They give you a lot of more money. Um, some maps have capture points that you have to get on purpose. Very specific. Uh, these guys are pretty key. Okay, so it feels like things have slowed down slightly. You go over and build this shit. Oh, I clicked all of them, whatever. Um, do I have enough for this? Let's do that. Where my best with that. They detect infiltrated units. I don't... Th oh, fuck a duck. The crew should hold them down, essentially while he gets his shit kicked in. The blue bar is morale. Uh, you, your squad morale can break. Oh, shit. That was a very good attack. Pull them back, pull them back, pull them back, pull them back, pull them back. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. What can do is, I got nothing. Build that.
Take him down, take him down, take him down! Yeah! We can hold this off, we can hold this off. You can attack that. Oh my god. So I killed the war boss. Uh, lost everything I own. Uh, just bring you out. Get the fuck back. I gotta micro these guys, and I'm not very good at it. They can't move and shoot. Him. Uh, Jesus H. Fucking Christ. Okay, escalate that research. Pop that bad boy out. You guys are still alive. Sick. You're not dead. Go capture me everything. Oh my goodness. This is not the smoothest of battles I've done. Uh, not even a good first set. Uh, I'll have to go research how to play this. It's been a couple years. I literally just bought this off Steam again. Uh, I had borrowed a hard copy from a friend before. Oh, my crew aren't dead. And... What's this building at? Yeah, you do that. Um... Jetpacks could help. Fuck off. Go repair that. Um, builders. Okay, I gotta hold on for that to build up. Tau don't use enough energy. I'm used to the Necrons, like I said, who uh, fucking eat energy like it's their day job. Vehicle beacons allow me to bring in beacons. Uh, fucking hell. Allow me to bring in vehicles. I really want it built quickly, so I'm gonna pull him off. See, and now at this point, the Wandering Orcs should not be a big deal. Um, yeah. It's time to start bolstering squads. I need to do better work with these guys. I don't know how to hotkey things, so... He's the biggest deal right now. He should go down, but he's not. Pull him back. Most of the time. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not producing enough units, really, I guess. It's a big deal. Okay, and now... I'm gonna need some more of this. Skyray? Hurry the fuck up. Beacon on him. The technology of Tao makes us strong. Gonna have to send out one builder. Go here. I know they're attacking. Oh, they got jetpacks now. Fucking A. Still not a big deal, but... Not... Yes, I did. Whew, that's going to be helpful. I should be able to start moving out pretty soon. I'm going to build another one of these bad boys. Uh, I still have an excess of power, so I'm going to boost him. Squad completed. Oh, that's not the same one. Oh, that's kill him. Why are they just staring? Okay, he's building that. That'll give me a nice boost. These guys are nearly done. Uh, give you jetpacks, right? Apparently that's not an accessible area. You needed fire support. Moving to forward positions. Okay, you're done there. Go over here, bro. Build me that shit. The fire cast serves with pride. I need you 
One, two, three. Get the fuck over here. And let's bring in a Pathfinder set. What can you build me? Acquiring targets. Not enough power. Okay, and then you. What I'm gonna do is I left that one squad back. I'm gonna start rolling out. Perfect timing for a counter push. Oh, he teleported! Oh, he teleported! Basically, the Skyray missiles, what they do is they push him back out of combat, if you watch there. So, I don't mind the other ones getting mingled in, they'll do tons of damage, but uh, the key thing is taking out the boss. So I'm going to start moving them all out slowly to try and locate their spot. So, I'm going to ask these guys to stay back as well. Pathfinders. These are just gun drones. They're kind of going to just guard the entrance there. They should be able to spot and take care of anything that's going to be a big issue. Okay, so they're coming from here. See, I can't make a group of, en of units. I don't know how to do that like StarCraft. I don't think I can. Kill him! Jeez. Okay, so they got a base up there. I don't think that's their main. I just need to kill their main, so. Should be pretty chill. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible resource management. Um, no, enough power, you say. So this was always my issue with real-time strategy games. Where are you? What the fuck are you doing? I'm basically just gonna roll the fuck in now. I'm done. If I need to go build another army, I can do that. Can my missiles reach that? Then yeah, we'll just take it out. Oh, wait, everyone's gonna go. Well, let's see what they see. So that'll be dead by the time they get there. Okay, pull out. Pull out! Fuck a bitch and shithead piece of shit. They kill them? Kill them. That was their builder unit. Okay, so this is a terrible let's play. Shit. Get the ones in your ranks first, and then... The fucking thing is... Oh my god, I forgot to. Okay, hold on, let's just use these three. I started off really well and then I got distracted as fuck. The reason this game was never quite as big is quite obvious if you haven't yet. Uh, it's a lot of fun, it's still a good strategy game, but uh, the one thing it lacks is advanced. Like, There's tons of strategies in it and maybe I'm missing out, but I really don't know how to make hot keys. And that's the thing that can make a huge difference. If I can split my army in two at the press of a button, I want to do that shit. Okay, let's just blow this shit up. Can I build you yet? Can... Oh, s sick. Start loading them out. Blow him up. Here's my leader. Where are they coming from? Here. Why aren't you doing anything?
Kill that bitch. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is their base. Where are you going? I clicked attack. Fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Um, here, so over here. Build me one of these bad boys. The orcs are essentially the hard counter to what I'm doing. So I just need to fucking kill everything now. The Vespids are taking hits. But hopefully I can focus that down. I built the wrong thing, but he can still go up. So that thing should fall pretty quickly. I mean, the only thing getting fired at is the crude. Oh, fuck. Stay here. Shoot drones. Load everything. Do everything. All this thing does is it shits out little drones to kill things. It's really good, actually. Ready to go, sir. Nice, this should go down pretty soon. Oh, I don't want him to die, though. That's actually really bad. I need to entrench your shit, bro. Yeah! Longest fucking game ever. Um, okay. For the next episode, because I'm going to call this an episode that was terrible. Um, I'm going to go do some strategies real quick, and, uh, but first I guess I'll show you this menu. Uh, for doing things well, you get, uh, war gear, so you can select something like the armor, uh, greatly increases health, stealth field makes them hard to detect, so I'm actually going to do that one. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Sorry for sucking. <laughs>